everyone welcome to explanation so as i covered chapter 1 in previous videos that is 1.1 1.2 1.3 1.4 .1 and 1.5 so you can check in our playlist that is c programming complete uh, syllabus i think the previous name is so now i'll be covering today i'll be covering chapter 2 that is problem solving using computer so again this chapter is theory part and it will take only 2 hours so I'll be making video one by one for each topic and posting in that. So you can go and check for the note in this uh, uh, site, egexplanationinfo.wordpress.com. Okay, so let's start with our topic. So it's chapter two. So I'll be using whiteboard to teach you people. So let's go. So the topic is chapter two, which is problem solving using problem solving using a computer okay so what is problem solving okay so as in real world or in real life if you if you have any problem so what we do we follow a number of steps to solve that problem in similar way if you give computer any problem so how are how are you giving computer a problem so in the form of program or instruction okay so if you give this instruction or program to computer so again to solve this problem we have to follow a number of steps only coding is not enough if you are thinking uh, if you have any instruction if you want to solve any problem we need to code that no only this is not enough we have to follow a number of steps okay so that is problem solving using computer that are the steps for problem solving using computer so this is very 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 important question so it, it is uh, in, from this topic question can be asked from up to eight marks okay so uh, again the steps that will follow so from each steps uh, a question can be asked so it can be asked from two to eight marks so it is a very um, you know important topic so let's see what are the steps uh, to follow let me drop this okay so what are the various steps so we have seven steps for to solve any problem let me write for you to solve any problem we follow we follow seven steps we have okay so first step it is problem analysis okay so this is the first step that is problem analysis after analysis of problem we go to algorithm development that is we write the algorithm so i'll be discussing each topic in detail don't worry about that next we have flow chart okay c h a r t it is so it is a flow chart third step fourth step we have finally we do the coding that means we write the code okay so after coding it's not that much so we go for compilation and execution uh, sorry for the diagram okay so next step is debugging debugging and testing okay it is g g debugging and testing and after this there is a final step so it is after this here it is it is documentation documentation so these are the seven steps that we have to follow so we will study each steps in detail okay so one question can be asked from this topic about algorithm development that is what is algorithm what are its importance uh, another uh, another question can be asked from this topic or flowchart so this one will get a code only another question can be asked from this topic compilation and execution another question can be asked from this topic so these four topics are very important so i'll be teaching all these topics in detail so let me